How to create workflow in SAP? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple workflow in SAP. Use SWDD to start the workflow builder. Now I'm in workflow builder. Workflow builder will bring you to the last thing that you were doing. So you might not be seeing exactly the screen that I'm showing here. To, to create a new workflow, you click this icon, create new workflow. I will resize the window a little bit and I'll move the window around a little bit uh, if some parts is not being shown in the window. So here is what you see as a basic template that uh, SAP would give you. Um, once you create a new workflow, it has a workflow started and the workflow completed. In between is an undefined step. Um, you can double click on it to create this as a specific step. And you can see here, these are the different types of uh, steps that you can make uh, or create within the workflow. Uh, you can create activity, you can create send mail, you could create a user decision and so on. So we're gonna make this as an activity And now we are into the activity step. And now we are going to create a task for this activity. All right. So to do that, click this. And then come back. And then you click again. And you can see the create task. All right. So now what we are trying to do is that within a step, we are creating tasks. So you might want to take note that step and task are slightly different. Okay. So they exist as different objects within the uh, SAP uh, re object repository. Now I will use some kind of a convention for myself. I'm going to create an activity which says create an absence form. All right. So say, for example, I'll use uh, this convention and say create. Uh, absence form and uh, I will use some kind of uh, convention even in the name itself to make it easy for me to identify it later on right. and the work item tags is something that will appear in the workflow um, inbox of the uh, business workplace and I'll show you a little bit more on that. Let's create a text for it so that later on we can see where it appears. Okay. Work item. Right. And this one is most important. This one means this is the method that we object method we're going to map to for this task. So typically in SAP for every task you map it to an object and an object method. So now we have a blank object type so we need to choose. If I click on this you can see that um, I have in my recent list there's this particular abs uh, absence form which I've used. In your case you might not see this one so if you don't see it uh, don't get worried what you need to do what you can do is you can just remember the name and type it up here so I'm gonna just cancel it and I'm just gonna type it up okay and once that object is uh, key in there I can select the methods which are associated with that object now the object type exists in the SAP business object repository. Um, you can find it out uh, using another video which I show you how to search for uh, an object in the business object repository. Now I'm going to map it to the method which is create. So because I want to create absence form, right? <coughs> I save. And I will choose local object when this prompt come up. This one basically is uh, SAP trying to ask for a package which is uh, some kind of package which will move your uh, deployment of your 
uh, objects um, into the test environment or the production environment. So we're not going to worry too much about moving them into the test or production environment. So we're just going to say it's a local object, which is only for our, our, our test purpose. Okay, and now uh, I can click the save button to save it. Okay, and now I can go back. And when I go back, you can see that SAP again prompt me for this set of things, which is something related to container. Basically, what SAP is trying to do is that based on the form that I was using, it was intelligent enough to detect that there's some kind of containers which I need to bring into the workflow itself to bind them into the workflow. Uh, container is kind of like variables that system variables or some kind of variables that the workflow will require. So uh, here we'll just take whatever that SAP is proposing as a default, and yes, we continue. Then now we have created a task, and uh, SAP has assigned a task ID for us. The next thing I need to do is to associate this um, step or task with, or rather I would say, uh, the, I will associate this uh, step with an agent. So I will need to select this workflow initiator, and by default, SAP has this. A uh, special uh, variable within the workflow, um, which is also called a container, one of the containers in the workflow itself, and this means whoever is initiating the workflow. So this is for the step itself, but for the task, I still need to assign who can execute the task. Right. So remember, the step and the task is slightly different. They are two different things. So in order to do the task assignment, uh, I have to click this one. And I will be brought to this uh, task assignment window. And to do that, I click on this. And now I would choose this to say create agent assignment. I need to assign an agent to the task. And so that uh, this is to say who can who can execute the task, right? So I will choose position. And I will use the uh, Sales uh, red one of the sales thread position which I've uh, created earlier. I'll choose. Uh, I will try to search for it. And there are many, so I it's kind of difficult. So I will just cancel and I go back using another search. I remember just now earlier I have created. A position which has a special string inside with happy. Oops, so because there's only one particular position which has that special string happy, so SAP was intelligent enough to even pick that straight and assign it for me, and this is the one. This was the sales strap uh, position which I have created earlier, and I have assigned myself to that position as a holder. Right, so this means that I can now execute this task and I can go back now. Now the agent assignment is complete. And I click this and I save. So as I save this workflow, uh, SAP will prompt me for an abbreviation for the workflow. And I need to give a name. And I will use again some kind of a convention to make it easy for me to search in case I need to search. Yes. Again, SAP prompt for the package, and we'll just say local object and take whatever is default. Right, so now. We have created a workflow which can create the absence form and we can go out now.